Hi guys, so I know it has been forever since I made a new video and I got a new camera, yay, it's super exciting. Um, anyway, like I said, it's been forever since I made a video and I am trying, it was my New Year's resolution to upload twice a week. I'm going to attempt to upload every Tuesday and Friday. We'll see how it goes. I'm just a human, so it's not gonna be perfect. But the plan is that I will upload a hermit crab video on Tuesdays and some other type of video not related to hermit crabs on Fridays. So today's video should be super useful for this time of year. It is the top four ways to keep your hermit crabs warm in winter. I am going to show you these tips in a specific order so that if the first method doesn't work, then you can add the second method. And if the second doesn't work, then you can add a third. Don't jump around and do them all backwards because that won't be as effective. If you do them in order, you should get your hermit crabs warm enough in no time. Now, before we really get into the video and go more in depth into heating, there are two things that are important that you know before we get into it. First of all, hermit crabs come from warm tropical environments in the wild and it's our job as their owners to keep them warm enough. The temperature range that you want to keep hermit crabs in at all times is 75 to 85 degrees, although 80 to 85 is more ideal. 75 is like the lowest amount that you want. You don't want it below 75 ever. The other thing that I want to mention is that a couple of the things I'm going to show you need to be taped to your crab attack. So if you are taping anything with electricity and heat, I recommend using either aluminum foil tape or electric tape. Those are the best, safest options when using heating and electricity. So the number one recommended way to keep your hermit crabs warm in winter is this right here. It's called an under tank heater, also known as a UTH. These are very common. They are sold for reptiles, amphibians, and all different types of exotic animals that need an extra heat source. The reason that under tank heaters are recommended more than heat lamps for hermit crabs is because the heat lamps will dry out your crab habitat, whereas an under tank heater will let you keep it humid but warm at the same time. The type of under tank heater that I most recommend and the one that I use is this one right here and it's called Ultra Therm. Ultra Therm is one of only two heaters that can be insulated and I'll get to that in my next point but just keep in mind that Ultra Therm is a really good brand. They are usually significantly cheaper than some of the other more popular ones like Zoomed. So the size under tank heater that you should get actually depends on the size of your hermit crab tank. So even though they're called under tank heaters, you actually don't want to place them underneath the tank even though a lot of times that's what they'll say on the instructions. For hermit crabs, if you place them underneath the tank, when the hermit crabs go down to molt, it, they can actually be burned by the under tank heater, which really would not be good. So instead of placing these underneath the tank for hermit crabs, it's much better to place them on the side of the tank, just like that. Also keep in mind that you don't want your under tank heater going below the substrate. So for example, if I have my heater here, it'll do a good job of heating the entire tank, but if I put it way down here, all it's going to do is dry out the substrate and it doesn't really add much heat. So you only want to cover the surface areas of your tank. And the size of the heater that you get should be the whole back of your tank. So for me, I have this one right here that goes up at the top of my tank. It fits most of that. And then the bottom one is this big black one that runs all the way along the back. So if you have a good quality under tank heater across the whole back of your tank, just the surface area, not below the substrate, it should be enough to heat your hermit crab tank. But if it is not, then we'll go to the next step. So if you bought an under tank heater and it's just not enough to keep your hermit crabs warm, the next step would be to insulate your crab attack. So what I like to do is take cardboard, you could also use styrofoam and tin foil. And what you actually do is wrap the cardboard in the foil, the entire thing, tape it on the other side, and then you place the side that has the foil on the crab attack. It would be like that. 
but obviously nicer because you would tape it. So what you want to do is push this right against your under tank heater and what that does is it pushes all of the heat into the hermit crab tank so that none of it is escaping out into the air. Insulating with cardboard or styrofoam and aluminum foil is really cheap, but keep in mind that you can only do it with the two brands of under tank heater. If you have one of the other types of under tank heaters, it's actually not safe and it can be a fire hazard. So the third thing I would recommend for heating your hermit crab tank is actually a room heater. So this will heat your entire room that your hermit crab tank is in. The upside of this is that it will keep the air temperature warmer, but keep in mind that it will also make the air drier. So if you are struggling to keep your hermit crab tank humid enough, then the room heater probably isn't the best option because it's only going to dry it out more. But if you are able to keep your humidity up high enough, then this can be a great option for keeping the entire room warm and not just your hermit crab tank. So the fourth and last thing that I recommend for keeping your hermit crabs warm in winter is actually to cover your crab attack in a blanket. So I have this one right here. This is actually more of a sheet, but you would want to use a thick blanket and cover the entire crab attack so that it keeps them slightly warmer. And there you have it just for an example. I really recommend only covering your crab attack with a blanket if you absolutely need it. If you've tried all the other methods and it's really not keeping your hermit crabs warm enough, then I would go to this. Or if you know that there's a big frost coming and it's going to be colder than usual, then maybe just for a night you want to close them up like this. You really don't want to keep your hermit crabs like this all the time because really what's the point of having them if you'll never get to see them? But like I said already, if you're having a frost and it's only just going to be for one or two nights, then this could be a great option for keeping your hermit crabs warm. So there you have it guys. Those are my top four tips for keeping your hermit crabs warm in winter. I hope that I was able to help you guys a little bit. I know that right now we're in the middle of winter and it can be hard sometimes to keep your hermit crabs warm enough. If you did like the video, make sure that you leave it a like and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you can see more videos like this one. Like I said, I'm going to try to stick to a schedule now, so we'll see if I get a video out Friday or not. Hopefully I do. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.